Boy, I sure needed the night, babe. They done got a nigga back in action, babe. Back in mode, babe. IG, what it do? Where H Town, where y'all at, man? We out. What up, my K Tron? What's up, family? Man, I'm past my bedtime, y'all. I do not be out this late. But man, being around my real niggas, man. A buck seventy. You did. I'm finna let loose around this motherfucker up. Nephew, man, it's like, it's like buck seventy. You did. No diamonds, though. You know, grown man shit. Yeah, plain Jane joint, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, they call it the Paddock Equinot, man. For y'all motherfuckers that don't know, though, you know. Yeah. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? With the Van Cleef on, man. You know. Yeah, I'm out and up and at it, though, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. I bought the Paddock to Master Don, though. You know. Kino, what's up, nigga? Buck Sidney, plain Jane, man. You did. Oh, it's not born. I like that, nigga. I gotta use that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, I ain't gonna lie, though, man. I ain't been out so long, my nigga. I felt good tonight, man. I had a ball. My nigga D had me out all night, man. It's 11.30, nigga. I feel like it's 2 o'clock. Hey, Kino, man. Only niggas understand, man, is real niggas, OG. I'm going to be down your way in a minute, though. You dig? I can, go, I can go put some of that ice on, though, man. But I'm an old nigga now, man. I'm going to leave that up for you young boys that don't know no better, though. I'm on some retirement shit, man. Fuck it. You know what I mean? I need me a young European bitch, man, about 25, live. You understand me? Yeah. That wants some of this good understanding that a nigga got, though. Judge. Man, I don't want them niggas to catch up, man. They need to try to pass me up, nigga, and get the fuck out the way, man. You know what I mean? These niggas out here cheating, man. They scamming and doing all kind of shit with the bitch, man. It's only one way, though. Hey, that's love, my nigga. No doubt. No doubt. <laughs> man, gotta have that five, man. Man, I ain't worried about no car tonight, nigga. I'm feeling good in the motherfucking man. I had, hey, I done had about three, four shots of that class size man. Yeah, y'all catching the nigga in raw form tonight, though, man. You know, yeah, get it one time, man, because you might not get it again, though, you know. Yeah, Meek Mills had my shit, nigga, on his album cover, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, back in 2016, man, when niggas didn't know what that Hermes was. Now I'm rocking Paddocks, man, with the Hermes band, though. You know? Yeah, man, just some more of it, man. Arkansas nigga, man, having it his way. Man, I had a celebration tonight, man. You know what I mean? Waking up feeling different, man. Class Azul, nigga Reposado, man. 
170 light, man. Keep it light, man. You know what I mean? We don't need to wake the world up. Throw no alarm clocks on the graveyard, man. You know? I don't want to throw no alarm shots on the graveyard, church. Man, I can't remember the last time, nigga, I enjoy life, nigga. I've been too worried about everybody else's life, nigga. I'm for to turn this shit up, nigga. Yeah, you know I mean, when a nigga got a few M's stacked up, man, nigga just say fuck it. You know what I'm saying? It's the best time of my life right now, man. I ain't got nobody to worry about. I ain't got nobody to try to, you know what I mean? We just gonna do this shit, fuck it. Yeah, keep them sleep, church. Church. D lawyer, what's up, family? Man, I'm just having it my way, my nigga. It's the first night, nigga, I done been up since past 10 o'clock, nigga, in probably like five years. I'm gonna try to stay up all night tonight, though. Try to have somebody's daughter. All you young ladies that catching these young niggas, man, with these bullshit ass, monster night ass, APs and paddocks and all of that. Hey, man, tell a nigga if he ain't got this one on, go back home. <laughs> you did. Man, we ain't doing no play, man. Y'all don't want an old nigga to come out, man. You know what I'm saying? Say she can't get enough of me, man. Hey, man, my old ass look better than some of these young niggas, man. You know what I mean? They got too much drugs in their system, man. You know what I mean? They fucking too much. They having sex too much. They they smoking too much weed. They drinking too much. You know what I'm saying? Man, they ain't just living off life, man. I'm living off the bankroll, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, nigga got them black cards. You know what I mean? Been having that motherfucker for about 10 years. Yeah, you know. Anybody that know, they know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They got these two and a quarters, man. The bitch bought for me, man. You know what I mean? About seven years ago. Man, I ain't trying to do no fucking, man. Only thing I'm trying to do, man, is a whole bunch of conversation, man. You understand me? A whole bunch of investing. And a whole bunch of doing what we supposed to do, man. That other shit don't mean nothing. Appreciate you, baby. I don't look like I'm 21, baby, but I damn sure feel like it tonight. No, love. Sex make you age. You gotta think, man. Every time a nigga nut. Have y'all ever noticed, right? That every time y'all orgasm, or every time y'all nut, y'all feel good, but y'all tired as a motherfucker, right? It takes so much energy out of you to 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 do that, right? 
I'm a once a week type. I'm a once a week type nigga, man. You know what I'm saying? If a bitch was trying to fuck with a nigga like me and she looking for me, man, to be around fucking her every night, I'm not that kind of guy. Uh, you know what I mean? That ain't. It's all about mind over matter. And what matters, man, is definitely not that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, nah, man, I wish I had this motherfucking light on me, baby. Black don't crack for sure, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. I ain't got no no wrinkles. You understand me? I ain't got no bags under my eyes. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Truly blessed, man. Highly favored, though. Nah, baby, it ain't no research. It's facts. I'm just going off experience, man. I see all my partners, right? They used to think with they with they with they dick, right? And I look at them now, and them niggas look old. You know what I'm saying? And I look at me, man. And I'm just like, hey, man, I'm looking good as a motherfucker for my age, man. You know what I'm saying? Inside now, man, I ain't got a million miles on me, man. If I'm fucking a motherfucker, man, guess what? She sleeping next to me. She waking up next to me. I ain't waking up every day fucking on no motherfucker. Anybody that know me know that. Yeah, I ain't with none of that. You dig? But I tell y'all this. All my rich niggas is in town, man. I called them niggas in. I told them niggas I was, hey, man. I told my partners, I said, hey, man, I need y'all, man. I ain't feeling good right now. My niggas flew in for a nigga on a private jet, man. About 30 of them, man. Say, nigga, we coming to get you. Yeah. So I'm finna catch a jet to Vegas in the morning, man. We're gonna go out there and fuck it up, man, for a couple days. So all y'all Vegas bitches, man. All y'all Vegas niggas that I fuck with. Hey, man, tap in. Because I'm gonna be in your town, man. Holding it down. Nigga doing what I been doing, man. You understand me? Yeah, for a quarter of a century, though. You know what I'm saying? My niggas flew in on the PJ, man. You know, man, that shit made me feel so good tonight, man. I ain't gonna lie. I feel, I feel the best that I ever felt. When you got partners, man, that you can call in the spare of the moment and tell your niggas, hey, man, I need y'all niggas here. And they get here the best way they can and they come 30 deep. That's the best feeling in the world, my nigga. If you can, hit the like button for lazy people coming 30 deep. It just made me realize, man, it's time to get busy. I'm finna get busy like a motherfucker, man, on my motherfucking mama. Be loyal. Come on, church. Hey, man, I'm at it, man, but I'm at it on another level. I don't want nothing new. I don't want nothing old. And I don't want to fuck with that bitch. You know what I mean? I'ma just sit back, man, and enjoy this shit, my nigga. I got a couple motherfuckers, man, really fuck with a nigga the long way, man. That's all that matter, man. I'm banked up, man. Yeah, you know I mean, when you got em when you got motion, you don't need emotion, man. You know what I mean? And I got a bunch of motion, man. Well respected, man, from the east to the west and everywhere in between. If any motherfuckers say anything different, tap in right now. I wanna hear niggas say that a nigga not loved and respected in your motherfucking city, nigga. You understand me? Cause I done touched everywhere on the map. You know what I mean? Man, I don't need no bitch. I yeah, you know I man, I got me. You understand? Know I got me, man. That's all that matter, man. I ain't never needed no bitch. That's where a nigga fuck up at, man, when he sit back, man, and he, and he allow his emotions to get invested. Dollar Bill, what's up, G? I'm gonna see you Sunday, my nigga. All I want you to do, nigga, hit the gas, man. Get it out of whole ass, man. Baby, <laughs> hey, you ain't never lied, baby. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Hey, 
Hey man, the truth don't need no defending. Nigga, I ain't got no feelings to be hurt, nigga. <laughs> Fuck is you talking about? Sometimes, nigga, you... Deloitte, nigga, I already know, my nigga. I got a room at the crib and everything waiting on me when I get there. Nigga, I'm finna go on tour. I'ma go to Vegas in the morning, though. My niggas chartered a jet out here from New York. They wanna go to Vegas in the morning, man. So I'ma go out there and fuck with them niggas for the weekend. I mean, for the week. Try to, you know what I mean? Man, I don't need no help, nigga. I got all the help I can get. Me, God, that's it. Rich, what's up, youngie? the shit I say, nigga, I can't even remember it, man, I ain't old bullshit you, man, that shit just come off the dome, fam. Hey, yeah, baby, you know, you can send me some flowers, or I'll just fly and come get them. I don't want to knock nothing. I'm in position, baby. I'm going to start spending some of this old money that a nigga been having. I used to try to be greedy, man, and hold on to this shit, man. But I'm finna just say, fuck it, man, and turn up, nigga, and have a ball, man. Fuck it. Hey, man, yesterday, right? I used to stack. Hey, man, I've been stacking for about. I'm going to ride. 2015. Man, I ain't spent nothing out the back, man. The only thing I've been spending is out the front. So now, I'm finna have fun. I, yesterday, I went and had a, uh, a spiritual cleanser. I don't know if y'all know what that is, man. I didn't know what it is until recently, right? I went and had one, man. When I tell you I woke up today, nigga. And I've been feeling my best. Man, I ain't gonna push it. I feel the best. I ain't never felt like this before. I woke up today, and man, I've been drinking these juices, man. This the one called immunity. They told me to drink this before I go to sleep. Let me turn that shit off, man, so they don't end this real shit, babe. Appreciate that, G. From the inside out, my nigga. I ain't young no more, man. But I'm damn sure active and attractive, though. You know what I mean? I don't know how to put that. How I put that, baby? Tell me how I do it. Y'all ask me something, man. I mean, I got full of game tonight, man. I'm feeling good in the motherfucker. Somebody tell me how to put that shit. You know what you good. <laughs> hey, y'all know me. I'm usually at the crib. Fuck 12. I'm usually at the crib at 10 o'clock. The bitch. Yeah. Hold on. Let me turn the hat around, man, so they can see what's happening, man. You know what I mean? Hey, baby. You can catch a nigga about 25. I bet you don't look good as me, man. You know what I mean? My lips don't look dry. My face done got a whole bunch of critters in it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no wrinkles in my skin or none of that shit, man. Hell yeah, baby, I'm retiring, man. It's the best feeling in the world, man. I feel good in the motherfucker. I feel good in the motherfucker, man. You know? I'll be there in the morning, my nigga. It wasn't two million, nigga. You took two million off. It was four. <laughs> Who laced me with the game in Fort Smith? Actually, nobody laced me with the game in Fort Smith. I was born in it. But P.I. 
Ashley grabbed me and told me, nigga, come on, nigga, you too player, man, to be in the town, man. Quitting while you ahead ain't the same as quitting. I ain't quitting. See, that's the difference. When you retire, that don't mean you quit. That means you just elevate. You know what I mean? I'm just elevating, man. A hundred thousand. Let's see. I could take about a buck sixty, right? And that'd be like a ten percent on a million six. I could take that and I can go build me an apartment building that would, you know, bring me some residual income, man. But I ain't talking about the investment shit tonight. I've been meaning to call you bad tonight, but I know you. <laughs> you ain't lying, P. I be knocked out, my nigga. I ain't gonna bullshit you. The hardest life lesson I went through, man, to be honest with you, it took me until probably recently to understand my hardest life lessons. The hardest life lessons, man, is trying to let go of who you are to become who you want to be. That's like the hardest lesson that I ever learned. Everything else was just easy lessons that a nigga was able to overcome. And a nigga just need to go buy him. If a nigga, when you talk investment, my nigga, you got to talk about what, what are you looking for in terms of an investment? You know what I mean? When people say investment, they use that word so freely. You got to have a clear understanding on what you're talking about when you talk about investment. Oh, Joe, that was some real shit. And my son, my life. When I say my life, that little boy there, man, when I look at him, man, I just, even when I'm mad at him, all I can do is smile, man, because when I look at him, man, I see a split image of me, but I see a, I see a young boy, man, so smart. He got his own swag. He ain't got his daddy's swag. He just got his own thing, man, and it's just a beautiful thing just to look at my little boy, man. But I'll be honest with you, my little boy, man, has been my blessing. My little boy has been like, that's been like my knight in shining armor. He don't even know that, man. That little dude, man, when I look at him and I just look at how people gravitate to him, I'm just like, damn, man. Because I remember when I was his age, man, I didn't have that swag he got. He got that swag. Man, we can't speak on the ignorance of these young niggas, man. You know what I mean? We can't do that, bro. We'll be out on this motherfucker all night. Yeah, my little boy, man, he definitely, man, keep me out of trouble, man. Because recently, it be so much disrespect, my nigga, that... My little boy, man, he really man, saved a lot of people, man. I'll be honest with you. A lot of niggas, a lot of women, you know what I mean? Disrespect, man. Back. Nephew, for sure, man. As long as he got you putting that putting that energy into him, he definitely going to be on the big screen, nephew. But nah, for real, though. My son saved a lot of people, man. When I look at my little boy, man, it make me realize, man, that I got to be here for him. So I don't just sit back, man, and I don't allow certain shit that used to get to me. I don't allow that shit to get to me, man, because before I used to be more of a, a, a reactor. I used to react very quickly and swiftly. And you know what I mean? I didn't never wake. If I had drama tonight, I never woke up with it the next day because I handled it then. You know what I'm saying? But my son, he's made me understand that every action don't need a reaction. You know what I mean? Sometimes you just got to say, fuck you. Sometimes you got to say, fuck them. Sometimes you just got to say, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? But you just got to say, fuck it 
somewhere along those lines. And I just been able to say, fuck it, man. You know what I'm saying? Just let people be who they are, man. Don't chase behind nobody. Don't, you know what I mean? When a motherfucker get out of line, as long as they don't get out of line direct, let them have that. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, it ain't taking no food off your plate. It ain't taking no money out your pocket. I'm an emotionless nigga. You know what I mean? And I realized that recently that I have no emotions. You know what I'm saying? So as long as my emotions ain't attached to something, then I shouldn't have to wake up every day thinking about it. You know what I mean? Just let people be who they are. You know what I mean? Believe that. If it ain't directed, it ain't respected. Man, and when I say directed, I don't mean being on the internet saying what you say or having, you know what I mean, those private sidebar conversations. I'm talking about pulling up on a nigga, saying what you say. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what I mean. I ain't gonna lie, this reposado got me fucked up. Yeah, I better take advantage of it, man, because I don't get drunk, but I'm drunk as a motherfucker tonight. You see what this drink say at the top? Love yourself. Ooh, that's a strong statement. Love yourself. <laughs> D. They got me fucked up tonight, G. Real shit get handled and bullshit get overlooked. Yeah, a lot of this shit be bullshit though, man. You know what I'm saying? Man, I got a... I be sitting back... And I be trying to figure out. Please consume within 24 hours of opening. They got me on these juices, man. Trying to cleanse my system, man. This shit. Fuck my stomach up. How do you let everybody know ain't no competition within? Hey, man, if you ain't got no competition with yourself, then you ain't damn sure ain't got no competition outside. She said the Texas accent. Babe, I'm from Arkansas. Not from Houston. What area should I move to? Mmm. That's a hard one. Move to Cyprus. Cyprus got the best up and coming area. Richmond, Rosenberg. You know what I mean? Fresno. All that shit, man. They got the best area. Absolutely. Katie cool, but it's a lot of niggas that move there. Man, straight like that, man. I got to get back to Chicago, man. That used to be my old stomping grounds, man. I used to get money in Chicago. Man, I ain't got nothing slick to say, my nigga. You know what I mean? I got something real to say, though. I ain't got nothing slick, man. I'm just, hey, I'm having a ball tonight. Pearland Black. Oh, nine. Big Rock Home State. Straight up, love one. Arkansas representer. False or cool. False or cool. Say, so what's that you drinking? I started juicing today, man, to cleanse my system, man. And this is like my second juice for the day. It's called immunity. It's called, um, it got apple beet and zucchini and all type of shit in it. But I, I woke up today, man, wanting to cleanse my, 
my system because I had a spiritual cleanse yesterday. So I said, fuck it today. I'm going to have a spiritual, I mean, a, a physical cleanse. I see, I see you say it's blacks out there. Do that mean you stay away from black or do I build your black community? No, homie. When I say it's a lot of black people, you got a lot of people, right? I love my black people, man. But one thing that I really want to say is a lot of people that just now came into some money, they move into these areas and they try to bring the ghetto, you understand, to the areas, man, that I've been in for over 10 years, 11 years. And it ain't a good look, you know what I'm saying? When you come in a driveway, you got five, six cars in the driveway. And, yeah, you know I man, y'all throwing parties. Nigga coming outside, taking his trash out with his pants below his ass. It just ain't a good look, you know what I mean? Because people stereotype. Nah, I did my smoothie earlier today, nigga. <laughs> Oh, OG, my Florida partner, my Jamaican partner. Man, I'm on a hell of a journey, nigga. I'm on a spiritual journey, a mental journey, man. Life, hey, bruh, the last few days, my nigga. Man, I don't know what the fuck, man. God sent something my way to let me know, hey, nigga, you are you. Fuck everybody else, nigga. You got to get busy. And man, today, I just woke up, nigga, with a hundred percent, man. I ain't felt like this in so long. Dog cats. <laughs> I'm country that a motherfucker. Don't be laughing at my uh don't be laughing at my accent. What you do when somebody want to come back regardless of the money? Hey, man. When somebody want to come back, don't let them come back. Leave the door shut. When they leave, they'll never come back the same person. You know what I mean? When a motherfucker, tell you, when a motherfucker show you that they willing to leave, let them leave, my nigga. Let them leave. Walk in the spirit. OG, I swear to God. Oh, my mama, my nigga. I've been feeling so good last couple days, man. I don't even understand it, bruh. But I needed it, though. But back to what homie asked me. When a motherfucker leave you, my nigga, and they show you that they willing to leave you, man, let them go. You know what I'm saying? If you know that you a hell of a nigga and you know that you've been doing your thing and you've been doing what's right, a motherfucker can go 10 different people and they'll never find you. They gonna always try to come back to you, but if you let them through the door, nigga, it's like bringing cancer into your house, nigga, because you already know that anytime a motherfucker not having it, they way or they get mad, guess what's gonna happen? They gonna pull a Trump card, nigga, and they gonna pull it on you every time, and it's up on you to change who you are to accept that shit, man. Man, I ain't accepting none of that, my nigga. When I realized, man, that my finances, when I realized my finances was so far ahead, man, and people always ask me, Lace, why you so cheap? I'm not cheap. My lifestyle is very expensive, to be honest, but why would I go backwards to go forward? If a motherfucker got some money, right, and you steady making money, why would you go in your bag to take care of a bill, to take care of a situation? Why? Why would you have to, unless it's a very dear, dire emergency? Why would you go in your bag? Never go, 
I'm going to say this and I'm going to move on. The homie just asked me a real question. What would you do when you got a few and you feel like you finna hit your breaking point? Let me say this before I answer that. If you got a bankroll right, and you still making money, never go backwards to go forward. When you're going forward, set your mind on whatever it is that you're trying to grasp, a whole love or whatever it is that you're trying to do, and go get it. Don't never go backwards to go get it. When you do that, you set yourself up for failure. And a lot of people don't understand that concept. I got people to get mad at me because of that concept. But I will never, ever, ever, ever touch my bag for no bitch, for no nigga, for no bill, for none of that. The bag is the bag. It's put up. It's there for a reason. I put it up for a reason. I'm not finna go get it. I'm not finna dig in it for no bitch. I'm not finna big dig in it cause you upset. I'm not finna dig in it cause you need me to help pay this or that. Hey man, the bag is the bag. I put that shit up long before half of motherfuckers came around the nigga. So what I look like going in it to help a motherfucker that just came around or a motherfucker. Man, come on, man. You know what I mean? Hey man, it's all about being smart. Because at that point when a motherfucker choose to leave, at least you know you still got that bag that you put up long before they came. So you ain't got no reason to be mad. But back to what homie said. When you got a few motherfuckers around and you at your breaking point. If you already at your breaking point, then that means the few motherfuckers that around, that's around pushed you to that breaking point. So they shouldn't be up around you anyway. Let them go. Don't reach the breaking point. Let the people go that's pushing you to the breaking point. What do you do when you know the bra good, but she know, don't know better? Let me tell you something. That's a natural reaction as a gentleman of leisure for a nigga to say that a motherfucker don't know no better. Nine times out of ten, when a motherfucker do something, they know better, bro. Believe that. We just try to put up a defense for them because we want what's best. But sometimes what's best ain't what's real. You dig what I'm saying? So realize what ain't real, my nigga. And then distinguish that from the question that you asked me. But don't never allow a motherfucker to push you to that point, man. I've had people push me to a lot of points, my nigga. And I never acted on that point that I was pushed to. I just prayed on it, man. And I asked God to get me rid of that. But like baby girl say, get rid of him. Nah, baby PMC was a rapper. My name Young Lace. <laughs> that was my nigga though, but he was a you know he was around some good niggas, but but anyway, I'm finna take it in for the night, man. My niggas want to stay out till 2 in the morning. I'm tired of motherfucking. If y'all in Vegas, tap in. Might well get a ball in the PD. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing, baby. I was, fuck, I was just fucking with you, man. I ain't. Nah, I ain't never been an artist. I released a record, you know what I mean? But it wasn't. I wasn't an artist. I got rich at 24. I reached 7 million at 24. For the record. Send me the line up since you done. I'm in my prime. They'll run circles around you, young boy. You got to crawl for you walk, my nigga. You got to grow. You know what I mean? I'll put a motherfucker around you, man, that'll run circles around you. I wouldn't even do that to you, my nigga. Man, D.C., where I started at, I'm, I love D.C., man. You niggas show the nigga love. Hey, you from D.C., you know Storm? Man, I'm a, I'm a Earl Spence fan, nigga. I be ringside. You understand me? With a bad bitch. I don't know who she is yet. But I'm going to definitely be ringside. And a motherfucker turn on their TV. They're going to see me with a superstar next to me, man. On God.
Man, OG storm, my nigga. It's only one storm in Washington, D.C., man. It ain't many other. I'm an Earl Spence fan, man. Y'all tag Earl, man. I respect Bud, man, but I don't think he got shit on Earl, my nigga. Don't be in the nosebleed, baby. You got to get on the flow, man. You understand me? So you can hear this shit. I don't believe in going backwards if I'm in a position to go forward. If I'm in a position and my money steady making money for me or I'm in a position and I'm steady making money, why do I need to go backwards? If I got a Rolls Royce I want to buy, right, and I'm making money, why do I need to go in the bag to buy it and I'm making money? I need to set a goal for myself and say, hey, look, man, if they want 150 or they want 200,000 down on this car, why would I wait? Why would I go backwards to go and get the 150? I can set a goal and I can go get it. And I keep the 150 in the bag and I just go get the 150 and spend that. I'm on the flow with it too, pimp. You dig? Y'all got a nigga up and at it. Man, I don't want no Bugatti, man. That's a poor, that's a poor investment. I could have bought one of those a few years ago. That's just a poor investment, though. How who win, my nigga? Jack, what's up, nigga? My 30-day partner. Nah, man, I'm gonna go to Vegas for a couple days, man. Clear my mind, man. Get some of that good motherfucking massages, man. Them good uh facials, man. And go get me some, you know what I mean? Just clear my motherfucking mind. That way, when I come back, man, I be on some different shit. Spiller, you got something, nephew. They definitely going the distance. They going the distance for sure. You give a young hustler trying to get six figures. Absolutely, man. Anything kings of the south, nigga. I'm, I'm there. <laughs> you remember that, my nigga? I looked at him. My son say, "Dad, buy that. Dad, buy that." But he was about five, six years old. And I'm looking at him like, "Hey, nigga, I'm not buying that. That nigga want me to get that Bugatti so bad. I was not fit to do that." Nah, they gonna go the distance, man. I ain't gonna bullshit you. Crawford ain't got what it take to knock out Earl Spence. Earl Spence, mm, I think Crawford got a hard chance. So I don't think he gonna get knocked out either. But what I will say, Crawford get hit too much. And Earl might beat him with the points. We stay handing out the most, man. I think you bounce back even harder after a loss. It depends what game you in, homie. It depends what game you in, man. You know what I mean? When you say a loss, I got to understand what the loss is. It ain't going to be no knockout for sure. Earl going to knock him out. I mean, I'm rooting for my nigga. If he do, you know, I can't wait. But Earl hit hard as a motherfucker. If he go the distance, homie definitely going to be hurt. I ain't going to bullshit you on that. And, you know, I fuck with Crawford. But I fuck with Spence. Like, you got so much game. I learned from you, brother. 
you go live more. I ain't gonna lie, man. I apologize to all y'all who fuck with a nigga. I haven't really been live lately, man, because I've been so caught up, man. Everybody else but lace. Now I'm worried about lace, man. So we're gonna have a whole bunch more of these lives. I want y'all to tune in, you know what I mean? Yeah, he ain't the he ain't the Earl that he was, nephew. But he ain't gonna knock him out for sure. Nephew knows something. He been in that Vegas, baby. Hey man, I don't want to buy no more cars, man. All I want. I want to buy my son some some properties and shit like that. I ain't gonna lie, bud. Got dog in it. Bud got dog in it, but he can't. He gonna have to come out, man, with some real, real bull dog in it to fuck with Earl Spence. I don't know, my nigga. I'm just letting that shit go, man. When that old school done, it's done. I ain't rushing it no more. I ain't stressing it. Anything causing late stress, I'm not indulging myself with it. When you add the top of the line car, what else is it to buy? I don't want to buy no more cars. Fuck some cars. This nigga ain't got me drunk. D. I'm not fucking with you tomorrow, nigga. We gonna get on this flight, nigga. We ain't doing no drinking. I don't even want you to talk about no motherfucking alcohol. Yeah, the don't gang stressful. I ain't gonna let it stress me, though. Did you make everybody lie to Live together to save on bills per month or everybody get their own spot. I don't want no more cars, man. This shit don't mean nothing, man. I got Rolls Royces sitting in the garage, man. Them motherfuckers, man, the, the going flat, they done sat so long. Man. I respect I respect Ross because Ross is a hustler. But what I will say, Ross got to get the political niggas out the mix. You know what I'm saying? Get some real niggas in the mix, man. I build cars and I'm on to a pass or something else. Fuck them cars, man. I'm going to go to Vegas tomorrow. So from Tuesday to Friday, I'm going to be in Vegas. And then I'll be in Atlanta Saturday and Sunday. They booked me for the Rick, not the Rick Ross show, the other show on Sunday. I won, I won Ross show last year, and there was so much politics involved. I don't care to go this year, man. I'm gonna let them. I'm gonna let them niggas have that. You know what I mean? I don't need no fifteen hundred dollar uh, key. You know what I'm saying? I won the motherfucker last year. If I want to go buy the one this year. I can go spend a few dollars, man, and go buy me a key if I want one. You know what I'm saying? I 
I don't want to go to Rick Ross show, man, because I ain't like the way. I ain't going to blame it on Ross because I know it wasn't him. Ross was the only nigga that really said my name last year was Rick Ross. 57 Freddy, he just a different kind of dude, man. I'm going to leave that alone. I ain't going to get on this internet with that, man. That just get a nigga too much motherfucking clout. You ain't lying. That nigga shit rigged up like a motherfucker. Hey, fam, let me tell you something. When you say putting everybody in one house, you a man, right? You could you conduct yourself as a man, right? So if you got a a female around you, you want her to be a woman, right? So when you got a woman around you, you shouldn't have a woman have her own shit. Her own house, her own car. You know what I mean? You got to teach stability. You know what I'm saying? Not only stability, you got to let a motherfucker know like, hey, I want you to, you know what I mean, have your own shit. You know what I'm saying? Woman should have her own shit, man. It ain't triggered for just the Florida boys, man. It's it's triggered for anybody that Freddie wants a relationship with. That's how it's triggered. So if Freddie want to build a low rider, he gonna give a low rider nigga a key. If he want a nigga with that can build a motorcycle, he gonna get a motorcycle nigga a key. If he want a nigga to do the body work or, or you know them the type of niggas, he gonna get the keys to. You ain't gonna win the key fair and square. And if you do win it fair and square, he gonna take it from you. But for my partners, man, who asking me these questions, man, let a woman be a woman, man. If she ain't a woman, teach her how to be one. You know what I'm saying? If you a man, you grown. So these young girls come 18, 19 years old, and if they choose to, you know, invest their life into you, at least invest back into them, man, to teach them how to be women. You know what I mean? Don't put them in house, nigga, like a sorority group. If they wanted to be roommates with a motherfucker, nigga, they would have stayed and, you know, went into a, a, a group home or a sorority club or some shit. Appreciate it, fam. But anyway, I've been sitting in my driveway for a minute, man. I'm finna go to sleep, man. I got an early flight in the morning. Yeah, man, they gotta have their own. Find you one shop. But even the shop that we think ain't janky, they janky than a motherfucker too, man. These rich white, man, leave that alone. That's what I feel like you had so many people. You really respect the game. And man, before I disrespect the game, man, I gear that shit up. Houston, Texas. You got so crazy. I think about. If my son wasn't in school here, nigga, I would have been gone. But anyway. I'm going to keep it moving. I appreciate y'all for tapping in with me, man. But as y'all can see, I'm getting tired of the motherfucker, man. My little boy, he at the movies, man. So I'm trying to stay up till he get home. I don't know, man. He ain't really picked his college yet. Quick and letter. Appreciate it. But anyway. Mm, I had a low rider when I was 14, 15 years old, man. I had a box Chevy Caprice, man, with some 13 inch Dayton's on the motherfucker, man. All go. Beating out of control. You know what I mean? I don't like going in the past. Hey fam, jump in my DM, man, so I can see your DM. I got a um uh, I got a 57 Bel Air and I got a 59 Impala. I'm looking for somebody to finish. One minute and fifty-four seconds. 
is the bill stressing you out on all your car? Hell yeah. But I decided not to let that shit, man, stress me out no more. My biggest, my biggest accomplishment, man, is my son. That's the best thing that ever happened to me. Everybody always asks me, do I want another one? Hell yeah, man, but I want it with the right motherfucker. Oh, yeah, them Flint niggas, real as a motherfucker. But anyway, man, I appreciate y'all, man, tapping in with a nigga, keeping a nigga some company. You know what I'm saying? But I'm finna go ahead, man, lay down by myself, man, and wake up, you know what I'm saying? And, and feel myself a little bit more, man. Love y'all, man.